Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I will be planning my month of May in my bullet journal. I'm going to start this video by doing a quick flip through of my pages for April midway through the month because I find that it's really important to show you how I use my pages and my feedback on the pages that I did in case you are new to bullet journaling. So first I have my cover and my reminders page. This page I use to just use as a reminder for small things that I can do throughout the month to make my life better. And I liked the reminder section, but it was really not that useful throughout the month. So I'm not going to do it for May. And on the right page, I have my tasks list for the month. And it's something that I do every single month because it keeps me organized. Next, I have my habit tracker and my fitness log. These are two of my most important pages every month because I like to track different habits that I do and my progress throughout the month if I'm doing them or not. And my fitness log to just track my workouts and which days I go to the gym and what I do and things like that. After these two pages, I'm going to have my memories for the month of April and my listening and entertainment pages, but I'm still going to use my memories collection that I have in my bullet journal that it's still blank as you can see, but I have to fill it in and I'm going to use photos to do it. So those are my pages for April. I really like this vintage simple style that I did. And now I'm going to show you a little haul of the Hinoki's collection into the Blossom from the Pukerabi because those are the items that I'm going to use for my May theme. Starting with the inserts, this collection includes two inserts. One is a weekly planner more towards traveling. I really like this weekly planner. It's too pink for me and this whole collection is too pink for me, but I really like that the planner has the days of the week on one side and then square page on the other so you can use it for journaling and tasks and stuff. I really like this weekly planner. I think it's really pretty and really useful. I don't know if I'm going to use it ever, but it's something that I want to keep for sure. And the second insert is just a cute scrapbooking insert. So you have different textured papers, different colored papers that go well with the whole collection. Personally, it's too pink for me, but it goes really well with the whole collection. So I give them that. And it's really cool to just have an insert for a traveler's notebook with different scrapbooking papers. Next in the bundle, we have quote sticker sheets and these ones are really pretty. They are very pink, but they are really vintage and aesthetic. So I really like those. I'm going to use them in my journal for sure. And they also have now trackers stickers, which is something that I've never seen notebook therapy doing, but it's really useful if you don't want to do a tracker pretty much every week or every month, you can just use a sticker. Genius, I love this idea and I love that these stickers are really good quality and matte paper. And you also have some stickers that really match with the collection. So you have this one with Sakura flowers and you have a sticker sheet with traveling things and another one with the weather, like different symbols for the weather. And I feel like these stickers are so genius and so pretty. I really like them. These are my favorite pieces from the whole collection. And of course, is not a notebook therapy collection without some washi tapes. They only have two in this collection, but they are really wide and really diverse and detailed. I really like that they created this huge washi tape with butterflies and sakura flowers and cherry blossoms and different quotes. It's really complex for a washi tape, but you can transform the washi tape into little stickers, just like I'm going to do in my theme. And it's just so genius. And they are both really cute. They are a bit different in style but they are pet material and they are so pretty. And of course that we also have a stamp set in this collection. This stamp set is really pretty and I feel like it's really useful. I have a really hard time using stamps, so I think this one is going to be very useful for me because it has different flowers and titles and little text, but it's really, really pretty. And overall, I really like this collection. It's really pink, but it's really beautiful and you can use code CATSPLANNER for 10% off at Notebook Therapy and everything is going to be linked in the description down below. So now let's jump into my pages for May. Starting with the cover page, I'm using my Kuretake brush pen to do the title. I've been using this pen for every single title this year and I really love that my bullet journal is cohesive with the themes and the titles and the fonts and everything. I feel like it's more cohesive and I really like this. I used to change the titles and colors and everything for each month in the past, but now I am reducing the amount of things that I use, so this works perfectly for me. 
and I'm going to use the crap out of these washi tapes because they are really pretty, they have a bunch of different designs and I feel like they look perfect in these beige pages with the different pinks. So I'm literally just using these washi tapes as stickers and for my cover page to actually use the cover page a bit different instead of having the reminders that I did for April, I'm going to have my habit tracker. Here I'm using my Tombow Dual brush pen in the number 723, which is this very light pink, my 0.38 Muji gel pen and my 0.7 Arteza gel pen for the titles. And I feel like this combination really works well. And for the trackers this month, I'm tracking my water intake and my plan is to color in the squares with a darker pink if I drink more liters than just 1.5 because I really want to track the water that I'm drinking every day so I feel like the color code thing works the best and I'm also tracking when I eat clean. Another habit that I've been incorporating into my routine for April is to exfoliate. I've been exfoliating especially my legs twice a week and I really enjoy it and I want to track how many days I do it per week. And speaking of self-care, I'm also tracking when I meditate because when I was on vacation at the beginning of April, I was meditating a lot because I was a network. But since I've come back, I haven't done meditation that often and I really want to track when I do it and why am I doing meditation on those days and such. So I have those trackers for self-care here for May. And my next page is going to be my task list for the month. I always do it on the right page because it's better for me. So here it is again. I cannot survive without a task list for a month. And then for the bottom, I used more washi tape stickers and I used this grid washi tape from Stationery Paul. You can also use code GATSPLANNER for 10% off there. And one of the code stickers from the sticker sheet from Notebook Therapy that says you are your home. And I finished decorating the pages with the Sakura flower stickers. They are really thick and I really like that they are just not translucent. They are really thick and opaque. Overall, I really like these stickers and those are my first pages for May. Next up, I have my memories page for May. I'm going to put here pictures and maybe songs that I've listened to and things that I watched. And I've actually been sharing my memories page every single month on my Instagram. It's just at catsplanner. So if you want to check it out, the link to my Instagram is down below. But it kind of makes me accountable to make the page before the month ends. And actually for the titles of all these three pages, I'm using the Notebook Therapy Alphabet stamps in the typewriter font. Those are my favorite letter stamps. So if you want to get them, the link is in the description down below as well. I just feel like they look so perfect in the traveler's notebook that I love the stamps so much. And the right page is going to be my fitness log. This has been a must have in my bullet journal for the past couple of months because I really like to track what type of workouts I'm doing, if I'm going to the gym or if I work out at home, what muscles I train and overall how I feel about going to the gym three to four times a week. And it's been essential for me because I'm trying to build a good routine for the gym. So this fitness log really keeps me motivated and organized for the workouts that I'm doing. In this log, I normally add, like I mentioned, the workouts that I did, but also any notes about my health and how I'm feeling. So if anything is important for me to track or to just add as a note for a day, I'll do it. And I sometimes also add here the days that I'm on vacation or out of the house and I can't really work out, like the days that I didn't work out. And it's a fitness log, it's really simple. I just have the days of the month on the side and it's super easy to use and I love it a lot. And those were all my pages for the month of May. I really enjoy how everything turned out and I really hope you enjoyed my video as well. Leave a Sakura emoji in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!